Hi, I'm Amir Hossein Mirza Bozorg, and in this video, I want to talk about the deep drawing simulation in Abacus. This is the table of content. I will talk about the introduction, deep drawing simulation specifications, choosing appropriate step, axisymmetric modeling, 3D modeling, and using shell elements versus solid elements in 3D modeling. Deep drawing is a common metal forming process that is used for forming sheet metals. Usually it contains these parts, punch, die, holder, and the sheet. Usually the metal forming tools including punch, holder, and die, are modeled as rigid parts. This assumption simplifies the simulation and is reasonable enough that does not decrease the accuracy of the simulation. Now I want to talk about the deep drawing simulation specifications. Deep drawing simulation is highly nonlinear because it contains all of the sources of nonlinearity. In this simulation, we have nonlinear boundary conditions. For example, frictional contact between parts. And we have nonlinear material. In the process, some regions of the sheet will yield and go to the plastic region. And we have nonlinear geometry because some regions of the sheet will experience large deformations. As the simulation is highly nonlinear, we must use a nonlinear step for this simulation. Both of the Abacus Standard and Abacus Explicit solvers have nonlinear steps. If you want to use Abacus Standard Solver, you can use a static general step or dynamic implicit step. And if you want to use Abacus Explicit Solver, you can use dynamic explicit step. By using the dynamic explicit step, you can easily simulate the deep drawing process and there is no major challenging issue in modeling the deep drawing process by using this step. The only thing that must be mentioned is the time period of the step and the value of mass scaling factor. As you know, we use mass scaling factor for increasing the time increment size of Abacus Explicit Solver. The time period of the main step, I mean a step including the movement of the punch, must be large enough and the mass scaling factor must be small enough to maintain the process quasi-static. Stress and strain fields are very sensitive to this issue. If you use the static general step or dynamic implicit step, the simulation is always quasi-static. Because of the high degree of nonlinearity of the simulation, some convergency problems may happen. For solving these issues, contact control option must be used. By using contact controls option, an artificial damping factor is introduced in the contact calculation that decreases the difficulty of the process. Since the Abacus standard solver must use a small time increments for this simulation, usually the simulation time increases if the Abacus standard solver is used. As you know, the Abacus explicit solver can solve the most sophisticated contact states. At present, I want to show you the definition of contact controls option. For 
Modeling. This process, I have used a static general step. Now I want to show you the contact controls definition. In the model tree, in the contact controls, you can define contact controls. Here, I have defined a factor of 0 0.001 and all the other settings are the default settings. Now I go back to the slides. If the geometry of the process has an axis of symmetry and all the other physical conditions including loading, interaction and boundary conditions have the same axis of symmetry, you can model the process in the axis symmetric space. Here I have modeled the process in the axis symmetric space and this is the axis of symmetry, this is the punch, this is the blank holder and this is the die and this is the blank or sheet. After the completion of the simulation, you can make 3D results from the axis symmetric results. And I want to show you how to do this in the visualization module. Here you can see the simulation result. Now I want to make 3D results from the axisymmetric results. I go to the ODB display options, the sweep extrude tab, and I want to sweep elements from 0 to 360 degrees, and I want to have 60 segments. Here we have 60 segments in the tangential direction. And I want to hide the rigid parts. Now I want to hide all of the edges except free edges. And this is the final 3D result. Now I go back to the slides. In the axisymmetric modeling, you must use four elements or more than four elements through the thickness direction of the sheet. This is very important for having exact and accurate stress field. Here I have modeled a deep drying process in the 3D space. In this process, there are two symmetric planes so we can model a quarter of the process and there is no need for complete modeling of the process and this is the stress field of this simulation and if you use 3d conventional shell elements for simulation of the sheet in the field output request there is an option for getting the section thickness as a field output. And here I have activated it. In the volume thickness coordinates, there is the setting. And I have activated it. And here I have its result. This is the contour of the 
shell elements thickness. As you know, during the deep drawing process, the thickness of the sheet will changes and it will decreases. And here, this is the contour of shell thickness. Here, you can see that the shell thickness is more decreased than these regions. If we model the deep drawing process in the 3D space, we can model the sheet as a 3D conventional shell or as a solid part. If we model it as a 3D conventional shell, we must use 3D conventional shell elements. And if we model it as a 3D solid part, we must use 3D solid elements. If we use 3D conventional shell elements, the simulation time decreases. And the force displacement curve has good agreement with the experimental results and the shift thickness can be calculated and saved as a field output. I mean the STH field output request. And if we model the sheet as a 3D solid part, the sheet thickness in every position can be calculated from the difference of position of top and bottom nodes of the sheet. Notice that for the 3D solid elements, there is no field output request for getting the thickness. So you must do this manually for each region that you want. And the simulation time increases drastically and the stress distribution through thickness can be calculated more accurately. You can contact me by using Telegram and WhatsApp or sending email to me. We have several kinds of services including one-on-one -on -one tutoring on the AnyDesk, WhatsApp, and making a special videos to your order. And we can perform high-quality simulations for your thesis and exercises and industrial projects. Thank you so much. Goodbye.